Proverbs chapter 1 verse 18 onwards. <clears throat> and they lay wait for their own blood. They look privily for their own lives. Are the ways of everyone that is greedy of grain, greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. 20th. Wisdom, Wisdom crieth out. She utterly her voice in the streets. Wisdom crieth out. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Where wisdom is crying? Where wisdom is shouting? Have you observed any time? I think you say no. Because you have not seen where the wisdom is. Utterly crieth. Utterly the voice is coming to you. Yes? Because thing is that you don't know what is a wisdom. What is a wisdom? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. So many times God's word, uh, God's word reached you in many directions. Through many God servants, through many ways, the word of God is reaching you. But are you accepting? Are you listening the word of God? Young minds, what you feel when the word of God come to you, you feel that uh, it is not for you, first thing. Second thing is, it's a very boring. Third thing is, you feel it is not understandable. Fifth thing is, fourth thing is, you feel that it belongs to your parents, elders, not for us. Fifth thing is, if we listen and obey the word of God, then our joys, our happiness, our entertainment, all these things will go away from the life. So all these things, the young minds, saying children today, they are feeling inside their heart and not listening the word of God. If you don't listen the word of God, you don't get wisdom and knowledge. Because wisdom and knowledge resideth in the word of God. You can't find anywhere in the world. Even in the first lesson also we had a discussion on this one. <coughs> wisdom and knowledge. So wisdom crieth. So Lord's word is speaking to you. So listen to the Lord's word. Believe Lord's word. And obey to the Lord's word. Then wisdom and knowledge by default it will be there in your life. So when Lord's word come to you, obey to that. Listen to that. Don't think that you are a young mind, young children. The word not belongs to you. It belongs to you only. So God's word belongs to everyone. The newborn baby to the old man. To everyone, the word of God is there. It is for everyone. So you have to listen. And you are young children, almost age, coming into teenage. And soon you will cross above 18. So you need to understand one important point that God's word gives you knowledge. This is the age you have to grow up in wisdom and knowledge. So once you've grown up in this, in wisdom and knowledge, rest of your life, you lead your life in wisdom and knowledge that will help you to protect yourself from many, many uh, types of sins, problems and other issues. For example, a small boy like you, Joseph. So we recall some few important uh, points from his life. Joseph was went to Egypt as a slave. And he was working in, in the house of Potipharis as the slave. But you see, along with Joseph, many other slaves were there. So Joseph is only one of the slave out of all. And many Egyptian slaves were also there. So Egyptian slaves, slaves from other countries. So, so many were there in the house of Potipharis. But among all, Joseph became the head servant, head of all the servants and most beloved to Potipharis and also to everyone in the house of Potipharis. He was a, one of the, the biggest man, a very reputed man in an Egyptian country. And in his house, the Joseph was the head of all the servants and most trustable and allowable to everyone. How? 
how that big good behavior came joseph age is also the same age like you and you have a complete freedom here like in your house you have a freedom in your house <coughs> through your parents and also you have a freedom in the school where you are studying where you are going so you have everything but joseph don't have all these things joseph did not have complete freedom because he was a slave and he has to work for all the time and also do you know that one important point even though he was a slave but he was studied there it's not like that joseph is illiterate joseph was studied as a slave so wherever he finds whenever he finds some time he was not wasted his time actually his job is he has to do uh, service in the house of the fourth pharaoh after doing some service he will get some free time so in his free time uh, he studied some books he asked uh, some teachers master please learn something i want to learn so like that he was grown up in his studies and he spent and utilized <clears throat> his time very well he was not like that my job is only to do service so today my job is over then i will go and take rest and sleep he was not like that young boy had a uh, interest in learning and increasing his knowledge so this was the one of the most likable point the fourth pharaoh's house was liked in the life of the joseph joseph did every work every service with high sincerity <clears throat> and in time <clears throat> and when he wake up early in the morning <clears throat> and immediately he start his life pray to god worship god and immediately he start his service and he go to all the servants rooms and <clears throat> call them to work so he was a servant but he given a work to every servant so he committed work very sincerely and also made others to work very sincerely so that leadership qualities were increased were built up in the life of the joseph god given him the opportunity to develop his leadership skills so it was written in the bible potiphar's doesn't know anything and everything know uh, to joseph only so in all all house every item where it is how much quantity it is where it is placed when it is placed including money jewelry everything known to joseph potiphar's job is nothing only eating and sleeping when uh, pharaoh called him for uh, any meeting so potiphar's will go and attend the meeting afterwards he come back to home and sleep but rest of every matter was taken care by joseph what is the age of a joseph he is like a young child like you so don't say that i don't understand i don't uh, follow or i don't obey or this word of god is belongs to elders not to me if you have that mind today you have to take away this thought from your mind they are children of god young minds of god remember a small boy a joseph as a slave how many great wonders he has done in the house of potiphar's and also in the place of country of egypt how it is it was possible when wisdom cried when word of lord came to him he obeyed to that he had a great hope in the lord one day god will surely visit me and he will lift up my head so dear young children don't waste your time as a slave joseph he spend his time not only to do his work in the house of potiphar's but also he studied well i wake up in the early morning he prepared himself he prepared other servants and he managed whole house in very proper way he administered the small house the potiphar's house in very very wonderful manner god saw that administration god built up that administration in the life of joseph uh, when he was in the house of potiphar's so first god will give you small task and test you how much sincere you are the same task given to joseph in the house of potiphar's how he administered the house so some years he was in the house of potiphar's and he administered the house properly 
once he administered the house potiphar's house very properly then god gave him very big responsibility that is to administer the whole country of egypt egypt and also the whole country whole world so you see the great thing so today god is preparing you uh, for learning you preparing you and giving you time to prepare some great work in the future so now you have to be sincere like joseph improve your skills do hard work and be sincere wake up in the morning prepare yourself prepare others and um, administer your own houses don't think that administration of your house belongs to your father and your mother joseph was administered his potiphar's house at the age of you he take care he took care of every item in the house every item he was arranged properly and every item he had a complete observation money everything every item every person everything under the eyes of joseph he was very very careful about everything suppose if anything was not right not good immediately joseph saw that and uh, he placed the items in a right right places he located the items in a right places and he if any any machine is not working or any thing is not working immediately he went and repaired that uh, item so some servants uh, uh, dumped all the clothes uh, somewhere else no one is taking care he went and immediately uh, he arranged the clothes in a proper order and also he distributed the clothes to everyone in a right order <clears throat> it is not in a one day it was happened in every day so in your house start learning help your father and mother you feel that that is your house where you are staying and administer your house joseph administered the house of potiphar's he learned the skills he learned the administration there later on god gave a big administration that is the second the king of the egypt and also the take care of the whole world so his knowledge his wisdom his dedication and commitment in those days people were live people got food in those times then people were live there and from them we came today so those people were live and because of them the generations were increased and today we are now so indirectly we have to thankful to joseph and directly we have to thankful and praise and worship to our lord because god had chosen such a wonderful man Uh, to protect everyone in those days so dear children of god young minds of god be learned to administer your house so arrange all the items properly clean the items and if anything is not good in your house make it ready make it locate place in a right place so do some work in your house no need to tell everything to your father and mother if you see something don't see that think that your father and mother will take care, take care of that you go and touch that take it clean it arrange it locate it and if anything was damaged repair it so this is the way you learn the skills of administration then future days god is going to utilize you in a mighty way like joseph god bless these words amen